Bible top is at the essence. Come and give me blessings. Let them rain down on me. We got no time to waste. Come get a taste. Hello, welcome to my YouTube channel. So in this video, I'll be doing a quick, easy, everyday makeup look with only six steps. Baby, we need time away. So right now, I'm just going in with my moisturizer and moisturizing my face. Um, this is just a base for my makeup. And honestly, I love this moisturizer because it's very light on the skin. And also, it does not leave my skin feeling dry or does it leave my skin feeling oily. Baby, I can get you everything. Then I'll be going in with my NYX primer and also just priming my face. Once I'm done with my primer, I'll be going in and missing my face with rose water. Wow, so clean and perfect. So because we've been in quarantine for so long, I have not gotten my eyebrows done in like over two months so to achieve this eyebrow look all I did honestly was kept my natural shape and just fill them in like how they were naturally so they weren't as perfect as I want them to be so that's why I left this part out the video but if you guys will like a very much more detailed eyebrow look tutorial just let me know and of course, I'm just going in with my angle brush and I'm just blending out the concealer. So right now, we're just at step two. So first step was moisturize and primer. And of course, your mist rose water or your setting spray. And then step two is your eyebrows. Got you looking like you just finished and want to race. Got me thinking that our vision won't ever change. The way I'm killing, I know these feelings won't ever fade. I won't lie, just don't ever dare put your proper tween us. So step three of this easy, quick, everyday makeup look is to apply your foundation. In this video, I decided to try the Super Stay Full Coverage um, Foundation by Maybelline. And this is in a color 340. I did use a cosmetic sponge to blend out my foundation. Then I went in with my foundation brush to also blend it out more. Just to take away any creases, make sure everything is flat and smooth. And it also gave me a very flawless blend. So for step four, I am using the LA Girl Pro Concealer in the color Creamy Beige and applying that all over my concealed areas. And then I'll be going in with my Fenty Stick in the color Espresso and applying those on my contour area. Then I'm also taking an angle brush to contour around my nose and I just feel like when I, when I use a small angle brush, it's more precise. And now I'm going in with a real technique brush and dabbing in my concealer in to give me a more flawless finished look. So now I'm just taking a larger angle brush and blending out my contour areas. And then for step five is applying your setting powder. And I am using a Morphe setting powder in the color banana. So step six is applying your eyeshadow. And honestly, guys, I found this color spell eyeshadow palette in Marshalls for four dollars. And they are so beautiful. Like the colors are beautiful and so pigmented. Like, you want to talk about affordable, bougie on a budget? Yes. And because this is an everyday look, I just want to go in with, like, very soft colors. Colors that are not too bright, something that's very subtle. So I'm going to take that dark brown color and apply that on my outer corner. And just make sure I blend it out and do the same for that the next eye. Then from that same beautiful palette, I'm just going in with that rose gold color and applying it on my inner corners. Got me taking you shopping like every other day. Fuck you in different positions. And then now I'm just gonna take my cosmetic sponge and blend and dab in my um, setting powder. So I always find it more useful to dab in my setting powder than to just sweep it away. And then now the rest that's left over, I'm sweeping it away with a fluffy clean brush. 
Then I'm also going to take my foundation brush now and also blend out any arch hairs that I may have on my face. Just give it a smooth, clean look. So as you guys can tell, I did apply my lashes off camera and now I'm just taking a wet wipe to wipe off any foundation that I may have on my lips and I'm just going to apply my gloss and then followed by my highlighter. And that is it guys. So thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And of course, follow me on Instagram. Feel free to comment below any ideas you guys may have. And see you guys in my next video. Take you to a funny day. Let me buy you the design.